it's been so cold in this weather And I might just jump to December I don't care about what they say Cause they yeah, the names the names Gamohelo Kumalo. Uh, I uh, I originally did hip hop growing up. I uh, grew up in Soweto, in Clip Town. I resided uh, to Fosloras. That's where I grew up actually, and then I came back in Soweto, Protea Glen around 2010-2011 so since from there I've always been around here so um, I'm Ayanda Komalo JD's older brother I think for the longest time or should I say from the day he was born JD's always wanted to be a musician you know um, from a little red microphone that he used to have <laughs> and I don't know, did you have a small piano or something? A guitar, a guitar yeah. yeah. I think from then, when he first got those toys, I think that's when he, he knew that he wanted to be a musician. You know, because even at school, when they would ask him on career day, come, what do you want to be? Like, ah, man, I'm going to be a superstar. That's all I want to do. Um, and people would laugh at him. Distance, I do not like the distance. It's better than sit down, listen. I cannot change the fact we keep going back. Distance, I do not like the distance. It's better than sit down, listen. I cannot change the fact we keep going. I'm Noctula Kumalo, Gamuhelo's mother. I attended school at El Dorado Park. That's where I saw that he's an artist at school. When they asked him, what do you want to be when you grow up? He always said, I want to be a superstar. And that made me see that he wants to be a superstar. He always wrote a notes in a scribbler books and stuff like that. He didn't want to concentrate on school. I had to force him because he was busy with the music thing. And I couldn't understand as a parent, but from an early age I could see that what, his, what journey is he taking. So I'm not surprised. He's a deep kid and I, I do understand him very well, that he's deep, he's quiet, doesn't talk much. And I can, I can say he's, he's an emotional kid as well. So. Yeah, but he doesn't often tell me that he loves me. But nonetheless, I love him. I wish him well in his journey and all the best. My name is Pusi Sondanzi. I'm here representing Donaya Muskamza Kamukhelo Kumalo, also known as Saint Jerry Kid. Yes, in Kulina in Donayami, it's been like more than four years now. Uh, Skamza has always been that different uh, guy is Kulina, is Kasi. Uh, he's well known doing music. We've been doing music like since it's a say in Toana, we've been, we've went to studio, even though it's a new studio, like we had like this advantage. Yeah, Skamza didn't give up from there, so I saw his like passion for, for music, so I, I've only supported him with the music industry, and he is now, uh, he's, it's, a, it's a big inspiration for me. I'm really big, I found my passion in doing music, so music has always been just a big thing for me, and it's really it's really a special thing to have gone this far with the music career. And even though things are still a bit shaky, I know that I always say that we keep going, we keep chasing our dreams, and yeah, 
he's gonna carry on pursuing this dream, you know, and that's what I like about him. Well, not like, that's what I love about him. That he doesn't care what anybody says, he just does what he wants to do. And a confident guy, you know, um, a good guy also. And yeah, I've, 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 I've been with him in the studio a few times and I've seen his work ethic. And this journey for him, it's, it's been a very long journey. I remember when he started recording on his phone, guys like, what's, your, what's his name? Timber. What's your name? Timba. 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 Timba and trying to rob him and all of that. But he came out on top and I think slowly but surely he's realizing his dream of wanting to be a superstar. And that makes me proud. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. So my name is Makado and his name is Makado. Um Makado Makado. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky Rick's nephew actually. Um I've been friends with Kamu since the age of nine, basically. The music is one of, okay, let's say the best R&B in Soweto. The best R&B in Soweto. I haven't heard anyone release something like Gamos. Gamos is heartfelt. It's something you can relate to. Wait, let me say that, put it that way. Gamos music is heartfelt. That's, that's one thing that's unique about Gamos. Gamos lyrics are relatable since we're from Soweto and what's on What he says in the song is something we experience on a daily basis, or let me not say on a daily basis, but as a regular, as a magic. Whereas guys get sent paragraphs and everything, yeah. and in Mercurial, this is Mercurial nature. Yes, yeah. Mercurial nature, he said, everything was better to work in paragraphs, which implies that after the paragraph, nothing is good. Woman will hurt you, so. <laughs> Gamu's music is something else. Gamu's music. Yeah. One of them. One of them. It's been so cold in this weather And I might just jump to December I don't care about what they say Cause lately we've been okay Sometimes I just run away I just fade away Yeah, without a say I just find a way then I run away. Yo, what's up? This is your boy Trader Nasty. Uh, I'm from the West Rand. Deep, 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 deep inside of Johannesburg. Uh, I'm a producer, engineer for some big names that you might know. I've produced for Young Tyron, Benchmark, J. Jody, uh, Melo Picasso. Who else? I'm sure there's a few that I'm missing as well, but. A lot of big other names as well. Uh, I've been doing this for about, I'd say like, 11 years now. Yeah, it sounds long, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. I've been doing this for about 11 years. Um, I finished uh, Varsity last year, so now music is my main focus. And yeah, I guess that's about me. I think uh, I met JD... I'm not sure if it was like around last year, eh? Was it around last year or the year before that? The year before that. That was the year before that. Okay, I think I met him in 2020. Like late December, around the yeah. Um, at first, even for me, like chatting with him on, on WhatsApp and whatnot, I just thought, okay, now Fede is going to come, he's going to record. And I might just never hear from him again. And then he kept on coming the whole time, trying to improve his sound, going R&B from the rap stuff, from the trap stuff, going back to R&B. And it's definitely for me been a journey to see how he's been growing ever since he's been coming back and been coming back. Especially with the R and B and being more articulate about like how he wants to sound and what he speaks about or what he chooses to speak about anyway. And we've been working on a few a few a few good songs, I would say. Mm -hmm. Some standout songs that I didn't expect from him. Honestly, I never expected it from him, but we are here now and it's good to see him grow and 
just to have this self awareness about him, about where he wants to go as an artist, you know, what he wants to do as, as an artist as well. And then, yeah, I think that's about it. We're here now, we, we are steady going forward, seeing where he'll go as an artist, how he'll grow, meet people, perform, get to know his fans, get more fans, and that's how the story goes usually, you know. Yeah. I'm not sure if he has a name for any project, but we have songs for like four projects, I swear. Yeah. I swear yeah. we have songs for like four projects or something. But I'm not sure if he has a name for it. Yeah. Yeah, we will do it. Yeah. 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 Well, me, I didn't know. I just thought we'd make some songs, you know. But we have enough songs for, like for a couple of projects. Tapes, like yeah, 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 we have enough, you know. Yeah. So yeah, we're just basically finishing up that for him, and then yeah, the rest is up to him what he wants to do with it and how he wants to put it out. And just yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yo yo yo, this is uh, Cleo, aka known as well known as Donald Trump, and we here. And as you can see, I'm wearing the extra Elden Ring merchandise. It was formed 2019 and established 2020. Well, it, it's quite a, a good brand, yeah? The brand, Yaraka Amun, it's also known as Blue Flame, Shaquan, yeah? Yeah, that's all I can say. Oh, that you let me down You're telling me not the same You changed your ways You let me drown Won't say much You've been away